I have a pack of wood clothes pins. I'm going to need a few packs. And I get these right from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to lay them out but leave them on the cardboard they are clipped to. I'm just misting them with a little bit of water. And then I'm going to paint all of my clothes pins with the Wise Owl Botanical. Now I'm really just focusing on the tops of each clothes pin. And while that's still wet, I'm going to go on top of that with a little bit of Wise Owl Spanish Moss. And I'm just trying to get different shades of green showing throughout the clothes pin. Now, I did not realize when I started this that I have two different size clothes pins. You can use all the same size. It will not affect the outcome of the project. But I ended up just rotating between the bigger ones and the smaller ones. I have this wreath form. It's 14 inches. This also comes from the Dollar Tree. And you're just going to clamp your clothespin onto the wreath rails, starting with the second wreath rail from the outside. And each section here fit about 13 clothespins, which gave me a total of 78 clothespins. And I rotated one big, two small, one big, two small until I had the entire wreath form covered. I then went in with some Wise Owl Snow Owl and I'm just painting the tips of each clothespin. Now I do not need full coverage. A little bit of green can be peeking through. And again, I first did the botanical. I went on top with a little bit of Spanish moss and then I'm doing the tips in the Snow Owl. And now I'm kind of just dry brushing some more lighter green on top of the botanical. I then have this wood circle. It's 10 inches and I'm going to paint that with some Wise Owl Republic Red. And I'm going to give this one good coat. Once that's fully dry, I have this stencil. It says Home Sweet Home. And I'm just going to tape it down onto the center of my wood circle. And using a foam dabber and a little bit of Wise Owl Snow Owl, I'm going to fill in just the home sweet home, leaving the wreath on the outside around it empty. Now you could take a small art brush and connect your letters. Just a little dabbing motion connects these really nicely. Sometimes when it's a smaller font like this, I just leave it alone. Really personal preference. Now I have a black paint marker and I'm going to go on top of the Republic Red with my paint marker making these little teardrop shapes. And they can be all different sizes. You can have as many as you'd like. And the more I add to my board you will see that they are watermelon seeds. I'm going to take my hot glue. You can also use some E6000 for a stronger hold. And I'm going to apply a lot of hot glue to the top part of the wreath form that is exposed and then also the bottom area that is exposed. Now it's the inner rail. And you want to make sure the circle you're placing in the center is going to touch those rails. So I then place my 10 inch wood circle in the center. And I have this little burlap ribbon. It had the buffalo check around the edges. And I just made a little bow. It has the wire on the inside so you can kind of make the tails a little squiggly. And then I'm going to glue that in the top right of my wreath circle. And then there you go. We have this very easy clothespin watermelon sign. I hope you enjoy this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.